Hey there, it's Gypsy Chick, and I am very happy to share with you guys today my latest deck, Le Vampires. And uh, this is yet another collaboration of Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I am absolutely stoked that they have come together again for a third deck. Uh, this promises to be pretty awesome. My middle girl, Bella Luna, has already kind of called dibs on this one. She wants to work with it. She likes the artwork on the other two decks, uh, the Oracle of Shadows and Light and Oracle of the Shapeshifters, but according to her, she doesn't really connect with it. However, this one, she said she'd really like to give a shot because there's just something about it. Um, we all know that that kid's a little dark, so um, she's really excited to get to work with this deck. Obviously, I haven't worked with it yet because I just got it in the mail today, uh, but I will um, definitely, you know, I'll probably let her come back and do a little bit of a video review on it once we get it, you know, kind of used a little bit. So, here's the box. This is the cover. I'm sure if anyone's already been looking at this deck, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's another one of those nice, hard, sturdy boxes. Um, and then, of course, it talks about on the back, has a couple of pictures, so there's what, what it looks like. Here's the book the, that, I, again, I have not read through it. It, you know, it's, it's pretty standard. It goes through all of the cards. It has some spreads here in the front. Uh, what I like about mine in particular is that it is signed by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, which makes me very happy, very, very happy, because I love signed decks. I love signed stuff. So, anyway, um... There's the guidebook. It does have spreads. It's got one in here that's kind of cool looking. It looks a little big, but I think it would be really fun if you're trying to, you know, get to know the deck in depth. Uh, and it is this, the path through the night. And you can see here, it's a lot of cards. I think it's like 14 cards, 13 cards, 13 seems, seems right, right? Uh, so that's, you know, that's definitely a spread that I'm going to encourage them to try. Byzantine cross, it looks a lot like a Celtic cross. Um, I really, I think that's a cool way to name it. And then it goes into the card messages. So it does have an intro. It has, you know, a little bit of a narrative here in the beginning. Who are the vampires? Um, why work with them? What will they help you with? How will you know when they're with you? Um, kind of like she does in her other one. It actually has a little cool little Mercy Brown story in here about uh, the legend or the myth surrounding Mercy Brown. So that's kind of cool also. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Here's the back of the deck. I know my lighting isn't very good. I'm trying to improve it a little bit, but you can kind of see here. Now this is one of the cards that's actually um, you're going to see in a little bit. I'll show it, you the whole picture. Uh, but she's kind of taken it down to sepia tones and zoomed in on it for the back of the card. Now for some of the fronts of the cards. I'm not going to show all of the cards in the deck. Um, I just that takes forever and sometimes it gets boring. But I am going to show you some of my favorites. Uh, because I do have some that kind of stand out to me. First is Knowledge. I love this one because she's bookish and she looks smart. It kind of reminds me of Bella Luna because she is my bookish girl. And I just, I like the, I like the look here. I like, I like this card. The clothes in a lot of these are awesome. However, this girl doesn't have any clothes on, but it's one of my favorites. I love tribal looking stuff. This one, um, you know, it's got that Egyptian, Egyptian feel to it. Uh, it's very raw, though, so I really love this one. It's called Ancient. It has to do with, you know, magical inheritance and ancestry. Egypt. I like this one because it makes me think of sisters, and since I have daughters, um, you know, these things like this always sort of kind of get my attention. Transmission. Spreading of conditions, influence, and impact. Beautiful. Seduction. This is a cool one. I love the little bloody hands on the background and the wall. Now, this is actually on the cover of the box, and, and it is one of my favorite cards. Her Last Day in the Light. This is a beautiful card. I just love the colors. It is a much lighter card. Sometimes I really like it when she has these really pale-looking girls that she does. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. This one reminds me of my dog that's passed, and it always... Uh, when I watched, looked at that one, it reminded me of him. I always get kind of sad when I think of my, my little gizmo. Primal, again, we have that tribal look. I, I love that. So that's another one of my favorites. I mean, they're all awesome. I'm, I'm skipping over some, but please don't think it's because I don't like them. I love them all. This one's like totally rock star, so I love this. Anti-hero. Love it. Maverick, risk taker, rule breaker. Speaks to me. I love that one. Thirst. This card is awesome. 
It's really zoomed in close. I think she did an awesome job with this. I don't know what the original painting looks like, but I love the fact that this is zoomed in so close. It, that's awesome. Love Conquers All. It's kind of got a Shakespearean thing to it, so I think that's why I like that one. Just her dress, the way she's dressed. Enduring Loyalty, Eternal Love, and Lasting Commitment. I like that. I like the eyes in this one. Um, she Normally their eyes are very wide open. Burnt by the Sun, Ambition, Extension, and Reach. That's kind of a neat looking card. I notice she has a lot of wolves in these. Just kind of um, interesting. I wonder if you're going to do something like a werewolf deck. Mm -hmm. Another close up. I love it. Witness. That is awesome looking. Oh, Prey. This was another one that I really, really liked. Her eyes are trippy. Very awesome. I like this one because I love the look on her face. Hunter. Aggressor, tracker, provider. I have a bit of a hunter quality to myself sometimes, so I rather like that one. Loving the side grin. Discipline. I just like her hair. It's weird, I don't know. Okay, faith and religion. Both of these I really like because of the traditional, um, you know, of course I'm a big tarot person and I see the symbolism in a lot of tarot cards. So these were kind of really cool to me. Faith is the first one uh, with the flaming heart. I really like that representation. And then religion, I love the fact that she has the, you know, we see this in a lot of older tarot cards and, and in some of the newer ones. Uh, love it though. It kind of looks like she's got Christmas lights in her hair. I like that too. Supernatural. This is wicked cool. These are like butterfly fish that are around her. They look like monarch butterfly fish. Miraculous, otherworldly, inexplicable. Very neat. The last one I'll show you is called Transgression, and I just love it because she's got this awesome unicorn skull. <laughs> she's holding like and a thread. I got it. So I love that. Flaws, contradictions, mistake. So that is the brand new Le Vampire's Deck, or Vampire's Deck, however you say it, by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I am so excited that I was able to score one of her signed decks off of her website, and I'm really looking forward to working with this deck, or at least taking my turn with it. Like I said, Bella Luna has already called dibs, so whenever, um, you know, if we decide to do like an actual working review of it, probably going to have her involved because she's really... Um, like, as soon as I pulled it out of the box, she was like, ooh, I may need to, I knew, I may need to use that one, Mom. And I'm like, I'm not going to tell you no, because, you know, I, oh. Oh, the box is signed, too. I missed that. Look at that. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Signed with a smiley. So I have two autographs from Jasmine Beckett Griffith in one neat, tiny little box. Anyway, I am so excited about this deck. Um, it's probably my favorite so far, I have to say. I really love the other two decks, but the darker aspect of this one just really kind of takes it up a notch and helps me to identify with it as an oracle deck. Um, you know, I think that it's got some great symbolism. I love the cards that, um, that they came up with, and uh, I'm really looking forward to reading more in the guidebook uh, to see what all of these represent. And I kind of want to help Bella Luna do that large spread. I think that that was, um, you know, that'll be a great lesson for her to kind of start studying, you know, working with decks and getting into them. You know, she does have the House of Night Oracle, but I've yet to see her really work with it. She's really kind of into her Enchanted Map Oracle deck uh, and her Deviant Moon Tarot, but the Tarot system is a little bit more than what she's ready for, so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes with her. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and blessed be.